Assalamualaikum. Uh, my name is Muhammad Ashraf. I am a graduate from Bachelor Engineering Technology student. Today, I want to ask you a few questions. My first question is, who is engineering technologies and professional technologies? Who is uh, engineer technologies? Okay, good question. Uh, engineer technologies or ET is registered under section 10C, registration of engineering. Uh, it also can use title engineer technologies with its name. Okay, for professional technologies or PT is approved and certified the manner of technology service. It also can use uh, title TS or technologies before its name. And lastly, it can be used to stand uh, approved by board. For the second question, if you have a bachelor in engineering technology, you can choose two part. Uh, either want to be IR or technologies. Uh, if you graduate, you need to register under BEM. Uh, and then uh, you have, if you and then you have to take examination PAE to get a professional in engineering. Next, if you want to to get professional engineering which practice certificate, you need uh, to get exam PCE. Oh, I see. Next, before you become a professional technologist, you must be an engineering technology first, which is the requirement needed is a copy of the Bachelor of Engineering Technology degree school, copy of full transcript of academic record, which the list of uh, subject and photocopy of identity card. Then, if you want to become a professional technologist, you need to fulfill this requirement, which is minimum requirement bachelor degree level 6 MQF recognized by the board. Next, graduate technologist, third, application for assessment, fourth, application for technologist, and lastly, professional technologist. Okay, okay, sir. Uh, my third question is in the road to be engineering technologies, professional technologies and professional engineer how should I register? Ok, good question for the student Ok, if you want to uh, register um, for engineering technologies or professional technologies you also, you can serve the website uh, for engineering technologies uh, is www.pem.org.my uh, and for uh, professional technologies, uh, you can also serve www.mbot.org.com.my okay. okay, To obtain uh, professional engineering, there are two, two ways uh, First, you need to uh, through form PAE And another one is through enhanced PI or EPI Okay, for uh, PAE, um, if you accredited uh, engineering degree, uh, you need to after that you need to register at um, Board of Engineering Malaysia BM, and after uh, after you register, uh, you need to training uh, training minimum three years relevant work experience plus one year work experience in Malaysia plus one year under super supervision. Professional Engineering and one year training in technical or management. And after that, um, you need a professional registration. Uh, you need a PAE at BM, IR, and after that, uh, PCE. And the last one is PEPC at um, Board of Engineering Malaysia. Okay, if you uh, uncredited. You need to take a paper or uh, you need to recognize commission cost outlined by BM and you can take the paper at uh, UNITL and UNITEN and after that, you, after you graduate, you graduate, you register at BM and go through the training and go through the uh, professional, re professional registration. Okay, uh, for for enhanced PI, uh, if you are related, you just uh, register at BEM or you also can, there are two ways, you also can uh, register at IEM. Uh,
Okay. Uh, after you register uh, either BM or IM, you need to uh, training. Minimum 3 years reliable work experience plus 1 year work experience in Malaysia uh, plus 1 year under super, supervision uh, professional engineering plus 1 year training in technical or management and after that you need a professional registration uh, you need to take an, an enhanced PI or we call it EPI form at uh, Internet Institute of Engineering Malaysia and you get uh, IR, Professional Engineering at BEM and you need to, after that you need to take PCE and the last one is PEPC at Board of Engineering and if you un 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 uncredited in Engineering degree you need to take, you need to commission course outline by BEM at UNIKL and UNITED and if you can register to um, BM and do the training and follow the step um, professional registration. Okay. Furthermore, uh, what is the difference between engineering technologies, professional technologies, and professional engineer? Okay, for professional engineer is for designing and manufacturing machines and system. One for engineer technologies, they have uh, technical knowledge on how to use and install machine properly. Okay, what is the work opportunities for fresh graduate and uh, professional technologies? Okay, for opportunities for fresh graduate. Uh, you can become an electrical engineer or even an instrument instrumentation engineer. Uh, if you're wondering which platform that you can go to find the opportunities, you can go to Jobstreet or LinkedIn and even Facebook. So from this platform, you can get into many uh, job sectors. Oh, I see. Okay, for opportunities for professional engineer technologies. There are a requirement for personal qualified in corrosion technologies, in PCIM technologies, and a level 3 NDT. As a graduate engineering technology student, what is the career path that I need to follow to become engineering technologies, professional technologies, and professional engineer? Okay, uh, thanks for the question. For the career path, uh, you can go from the student, you can go to engineering technologies under BEM or as a graduate technologies under MBOT. And from there, you can go to professional technologies under MBOT or you can go to the bridging program. In the, and from the bridging program, you can continue as a graduate engineer. And later on, you can go to the professional engineer under BEM. Okay. Uh, for part of engineering technologies to become a professional engineer, uh, you need to, from engineering technologies, you can master by coursework to get to uh, as a graduate engineer, and you can get professional engineer title by sit and pass the professional assessment examination, also known as PAE, and then you you can you need to go to take uh, professional competency examination to get the title as professional engineer with practicing certificate. The subject to be taken in the master program must enhance the subject te taken in the bachelor engineering with honor. Uh, graduate is advised to submit the following document for BEM's assessment prior to taking up the master program. BEM will advise the graduate to subjects to be taken and its credit hours. The requirement to take the master program is a degree score, a full official transcripts, details on the master of engineering such as course content, subjects, uh, duration, and other more. For top-up course, uh, top up a few relating subjects in the university where applicant has graduated from or in any university offering a recognized degree by the Engineering Accreditation Council of Malaysia. Graduate is required to submit the degree score and full official transcript to BEM. 
for assessment prior to taking up the top up program. PDM will advise the graduate to subject to be taken and his credit hour. The uh, student can take the bridging course in Unity L or Unit. Wow, I'm impressed. Okay, for more reference, you can uh, check in this guidebook for your reference later on. Thank you.